table what I've done. You can't even see me. Hello. Hey everybody, welcome to my new seed starting studio. It's heated, temperature controlled, lights, shelving, seeds, what more do you need? So. I'm just excited to start seeds and get something germinating and growing. The challenge of trying to keep these little babies alive, so. Some other seeds that I want to start early are onions. I have had the worst luck. I don't know if it's luck. Onions apparently don't germinate very well. So I'm gonna start them indoors. I'm starting them now. I'm gonna start them today and get them to the size where they're like plug size, onion plugs or onion bunches that you can buy and try and move them into the garden once I get some growth on them. So I'm excited to start those. My next step is to fill up some seed plug trays and start sowing some more seeds. Now let's get going on that. The setup I'm using is a fold out table. So when I'm done using it to set up my seeds, I can fold it up and just kind of tuck it. I think I'll tuck it up in here against the wall. And that way, when I need it to work on, it's like a collapsible workbench. So I'm starting with a seed starting mix, some water, some plug trays, these are just your hex, your hex tray, hex plugs, and a few different seeds. Uh, what have I got here? We're gonna try some basil. I thought those would be fun. They're quick and easy to germinate, and I can use them as they grow until I put them in the garden if they make it that far. So our last frost date is May 14th-ish. We usually wait till the long weekend in May. So here in Ontario, I'm in a zone 5B. We have a long weekend in May, the May 24th long weekend. It's the Queen's birthday that we, we denote for that. So the May long weekend is usually when we start putting all of our stuff out in the garden. Our last frost date is the week before that, so May 14th. We're about 14 weeks away from our last frost date and that should be more than enough time to get all this stuff germinated and to a point where I can move it out. I'm gonna start my peppers now so that I can get them out in the garden in the heat. Hopefully I can get some growth on them in this controlled temperature environment with some humidity and warm temperatures. Last year I didn't get any peppers. I think they kind of got stunted. I moved them out a little too early and uh, I didn't get any peppers last year, but we'll try again. I've got red and green. My onions, I'm doing Walla Walla onions in here. I also will start some of these seeds in the winter sowing method. Um, I have a bunch of sunflowers that last year when I did the winter sowing method, uh, the sunflowers did really, really well that way. So I'm gonna do sunflowers and I will try and do some onions in the winter sowing method as well. I uh, just have some white onions. These are a seed tape. So I'm not sure how well they're gonna fit in these hex trays, but that's all I have right now are white Lisbon onions and a seed tape. Some strawberries. Last year I did try sowing strawberries from seed and they took forever. They were really slow growing, so I don't know if it was the condition that they were in. And we're gonna try it this way and see if I get better results with, uh, with some strawberry plants. So to start with, some soil and some water, I'm gonna pre-moisten and mix it all up in this bucket. Okay, so let me turn the camera down so you can see my, my pot of dirt. So this is just an old pot. It's an old campfire pot that uh, we use out by the pond in the summer for cooking on the fire. It's now full of dirt. So I've added one bag of seed starting mix. So this is miracle Grow seed starting potting mix uh, formulated for fast root development and 8.8 .8 liters in one bag. So I took the whole bag, dumped it in this pot 
And then I added <clears throat> this jug of water. So that's, what, three liters maybe? Two and a half, three liters of water into this soil and just kind of mixed it all in until it was moist. So you want it to hold together but not drip any water. So there's no water coming out of it, but it still holds together. It could be maybe a little bit more moist. Anyways, I'm gonna start with that. So once I get the seeds in, I will spritz them on top with some more water. So I'm gonna fill my other hex tray with this mix. And I'm just lightly packing it into these cells. Anybody else got the mood to start some seeds? We're, what is today, like February 3rd, I think? Second or February 3rd? I think it's February, it's the first, it's the first week of February. And I'm in Ontario, so my zone is a 5B. And like I said, we are probably 14 weeks out from our last frost date before we'll be able to get into the gardening doing much outside. We're covered in snow right now. We've been having lots of fun out in the snow, snowmobiling, skating on the pond. I don't know if you saw that other video that I posted of the pond right now, it's covered in ice. We've got a nice rink this year. Okay, so I've got most of these cells packed. I'm just gonna tap them down on this tray. Just gently, just kind of Try and get some of the soil in there so then just top them up a little bit with some more soil okay so i've got all the cells packed in with soil oh i just knocked all the soil out of that one there we go and i'm just putting them on this boot tray for now it did come with a tray to go underneath. So it has a bottom tray that you can water in. So that's where those cells will sit. It also came with a, a humidity dome to put over it until you get uh, until you get your germination. So I think I'm done with this dirt for now. You like my gardening tools that I stole from the kitchen? My shovels and stuff are all frozen out in the, well they're not frozen. They're just outside in the in the bunkie by the pond, and I didn't really feel like going out in the snow to get them, so I stole some cheap kitchen tools. Oh, so this pot comes with a handy dandy lid. I'm gonna keep the lid on it, and I'll save that soil for the next batch. Let's start with the onions, because that's what I'm looking the most forward to growing. So these are Walla Walla onions, and they are pelleted, which, again, I ordered them online. I didn't read that they were pelleted, but it makes them a little easier to sow. 150 seeds. I'm not gonna sow that many of them, but. Bright pink. Pink's my favorite color. And we'll just push them into the soil, I think. Two, let's start with two. Two looks good. They're bigger because they're pelleted seeds. Has anybody used these kind of seeds before? And we'll do another row of them. What the heck? I just have these tea tags right now. To label with. Okay, so those are the. I'm not sure the seed tape is gonna work. Let me see what it looks. This seed tape is meant to be direct sewn into the garden in a row, so you get a straight row. I'm wondering if I should save this for the garden. What the heck? I'm gonna try some of these in here. So you can see in the seed tape where the seeds are. I'm just gonna rip open this seed tape where they are and stick them in. So this will be interesting.
interesting to see if these actually grow of the seed tape. Anybody ever used seed tape before? These are the ones I tried in the garden last year and I think I had maybe four or five germinate and then they really didn't do a whole lot after that. So we'll see how they do in here in this environment. So each one of these cells is just getting one seed. Okay, right, that's enough mess around with that. I will try some other onions when I get some more seed packs of onions. And let's try some peppers, red peppers, quarter of an inch deep for these. So then we can do a row of strawberries and a row of basil. These I'm going to sew pretty heavily on. I'm just going to sprinkle onto the soil. And let's try some strawberries for the last one here. And again, these are pelleted seeds. Okay, let's go get some water and mist these in and we'll set them up here in the tray and I'll put the I'll put the humidity dome on them to help them germinate and watch them grow. Okay, so I just have one of these pump spray bottles. You, you pump up the pressure inside. It's just got water in it and I've adjusted the nozzle so it's fine mist and we're just going to gently mist over the top of our seeds. Okay, right, I think that's good. Okay, so I've got them all lightly misted and uh, set in their little cell packs, labeled. I'm gonna move them into their container now. So they're gonna go into this container. I'm just gonna move this up without making a mess and dumping all my seeds on the floor. So there is my first tray of seeds. Yay! Now we just have to come out and talk to them every day, say goodnight to them every night, morning in the morning, in the morning and see if we get any germination on, uh, on any of these seeds. So I'm going to leave the humidity dome on until I see some germination. Some of these seeds need domes, some of them don't. The onions are pretty forgiving. I don't think they really need a humidity dome. I have it, so I'm going to try it. So we'll see how they work. So I've got them up on the shelf. I'll show you what they look like. I'll keep you posted on how these seeds do and how the germination goes and if I need to start some stuff again, I can always start it again. But uh, always having fun learning and growing and it's so exciting to come out and check on these every day. And I wasn't kidding you about talking to your seeds. I do come out and check on them quite often. So let me know in the comments below what seeds you're starting, what zone you're in and what zone or what seeds you start when for your zone. I'm Southern Ontario or well, Mid-Ontario. Mid in a zone 5b and i'm starting i'm starting my seeds let me know in the comments below again thanks for watching subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated on how i make out with my seeds this year we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye bye
see you in the morning.